Hello everybody, it's DaffyDuck91 here from Not A Gamer Gaming, and we are on day five of my bombshell playthrough, and it is time to make a horde base. Last night I made 12 more pipe bombs. I did a bunch of mining for stuff to make gunpowder as well as cobblestone to make flagstone blocks. Yada yada yada, because I'm going to be spending part of the morning just getting my horde base ready. I think I'm going to make it over here next to this feller. Yeah, I really need to get a horde base going. I don't know the specific design I have in mind. My idea is basically, come on, there we go. I'm going to dig a small hole and then I somehow want to path the zombies into the hole so that they can main, like, you know, maintain, like not break the hole down and I can blow them up. But I need to be able to kind of group a little bit of them at a time. So right now what I'm going to do is, well, I'm going to dig my hole. Before I do any more digging, I'm going to quickly place a square block kind of thing around it, just so I know how much I'm going to be digging. Alright, so I need to be a little bit mindful so I don't bury myself in this hole. I want to make four blocks deep, so I have two more to go. And then I'm going to make it a, like I'd say three to four blocks high and then we're going to build kind of a platform over here where we can stand on but ideally this is where the zombies will fall into before I get any more invested I'm going to go make myself some wood frames so after I'm done a bit of my horde base design here I will take a time and head on over to the trader and we're going to return our quest as well as pick up another quest because I just don't want an episode without any zombie poking with my stick I am going to try to avoid using my pipe bombs at all costs at this point because I do need them for Fortnite. The challenge with this series is I am not allowed to use anything but explosives on a horde, which means I can, at, at this moment, I can only use pipe bombs. I don't have any more levels, but if I look into Demolition Expert Explosive Handler, I can make dynamite, and I think that's a bit useless to me. Grenade is the next one, so TNT, I'm dynamite. The uh, dynamite itself, I've been told that it's not very good for killing zombies. It's mostly used in mining or destroying blocks, but not actually killing zombies. The grenades, on the other hand, would be handy to get. So right now, if I get another level, I'm going to start pumping it into that in preparation for Fortnite. I don't even know how one makes a grenade. All right, contact grenades. So we do need a schematic or to learn Demolition Expert. Um, mechanical parts, gunpowder, forge, iron spring. So they seem relatively easy to make, except for I do need to keep putting some points into that. So that is where I'm going to focus my energy until Fortnite, and then we will go from there. Right now, I want to finish digging my hole, and then we'll start on our little tower. Alright, so that took a little bit. I did only make it three wide. I figure that will be more than enough uh, to get the job done once I add a bit of height. So this is basically where the zombies are going to fall in, but I will make this side higher. So we're going to go one, two, three. So we're going to go four up, three down, and that is basically going to be our zombie hole, which is where we will allocate as many zombies as possible and then throw a bomb down there to blow them up. The real challenge is going to be ensuring that zombies are pathing towards me, which I will do with kind of a ramp and then some tricky blocks. I have no idea if this is going to work. I'm not that great at horror bases, as we all know. They tend to fall apart or I need a lot of advice. But I figure for science sake, we'll try it. I may die 
that's okay. We'll get a good bunch of laughs out of it. I am going to need more flagstone. There we go. Oh, I guess I don't have much coming for me. All right. Well, this seems to be all I can craft right now as I wait for my flagstone and cobblestone to craft. So we will walk away and hopefully get quite a bit more done either tonight or tomorrow. Yeah, God, I'm going to die. Tonight or tomorrow. For now, let's head home. I'm going to unload. Then we're going to head off to the trader and get some questing done. All right. So I have my bandages, painkillers. I have some food and water. I feel like I'm going to go get more cloth and make more bandages just to be smart. Because we all know that I am classically bad at dealing with bleeding. Let me just see recipes. We're going to make nine of them to get a nice round ten. And yeah, then we'll have those on our bar for when the inevitable bleeding happens. But right now I'm going to head on over to Mr. Wrecked. And we're going to grab a quest from him. See if he has any food for me to eat because I'm dying here. Literally every day is me gathering food. And then we're either going to take a nice, healthy, easy quest nearby. Or I'm going to head over to that farm and start picking corn. Which is something I told myself I was going to do since I have that recipe. But for now, let's go see Wrecked. Ooh, we narrowly missed uh, this lady walking her dog out there. Um, like I said, I want to save my bomb, so I want to avoid all animals at all costs. Because honestly, I do not know how to deal with them other than destroying a bomb. Uh, Normally, oh, juicy. Thank you. Normally, I would shoot them with a gun, but alas, I do not have a gun. Um, so all I, my only option is... Oh god, there's something banging on the wall. My only option is to just throw bombs at them and I don't want to waste my bombs. Okay, just calm down. I'm going to do a tier well, one clear zombie bungalow. Idea. It's Good relatively luck. close. God, hold on. What is hitting at the door right now? Okay, well there's the dog. Alright, that's not convenient. Okay, we're gonna see if I can blow them up from right here. Ideally not using too many of these. Kill them. Oh, are you kidding me? Seriously? Okay, hold on. Bang! Oh, that was beautiful. It took three more. Okay, so note to self. When you throw the stick of dynamite, how much you hold it depends on how far it goes, if that makes any sense. Do you know what I mean? Like, if you hold it until the green bar is completely full, your grenade is going to go farther. And I guess I didn't really put two and two together. But otherwise, one grenade to kill two of these bad boys sounds pretty damn efficient to me. All right, okay. Our quest is just that burnt house. We've already done it once. It might be a tad dull, but that is all right. You know, experience is experience and loot is loot. We will enjoy it for what it is. And let's see what we can do after that with whatever time we have left during the day. So right now, quest. Then we will see. All right, so I've made it to the quest. I crafted myself a quick bedroll. I'm going to start the quest. Slap down a bedroll. And my goal is to get through this quest without using any of my bombs. Because again, we really need to save these bombs. Oh, baby. <laughs> Oh, uh, mini bike handlebars. How much do those sell for? Not that I'm going to sell it. Oh, yeah. Okay, so if I can find all the tools I need to build a bike, that would be super duper handy. Speaking of that, I know I said I was going to throw some points into Demolition Expert, but I'm almost tempted to add another into Lucky Looter just to increase my looting amount. Maybe find more parts I need. Ooh, okay. We need to get in. We need to kill as much as we can with... Ah, oh, it's so dark. Kill as much as we can with my spear. All right, so for a building like this, I'm gonna kill and then loot the level and then move on. Just be, normally I would just do all the looting after, but this building is kind of broken down and I do not want to be jumping all around through it. I feel like that would be just a waste of my time. So I'm going to go quick, loot this room, and then we'll move on to the next level.
All right, I'm done looting this level, and I also gained another level here, so I'm now level nine. I am gonna just be a daredevil and put another point into Lucky Looter to get um, the pot luck, which does 20% faster. Um, narrow down buried treasure locations to six meters, adds 20 to loot bonus. So I guess that will help um, increase the amount of juicy loot I'm going to get, which I might need. Oh my goodness, why can I not jump? Am I crouching? Ah. I'm going to need that extra loot. Um, if I want to, you know, find more pieces to make a mini bike, how on earth did we get? Okay. All right. I need to focus. Let's kill the zombies on this level and then see what happens. All right. So there was one zombie on this level, not too shabby. I will go ahead and loot the rest of it. And then we're going to head to the dreaded upstairs. All right, you will notice me looting and wrenching beds as well as sinks and toilets and stuff because that gives me the pipes that I need to make my pipe bombs. It is a tad redundant only with the fact that I can craft them on the forge. But hey, if you're going to be out looting and you're out and about, you might as well save some of your forge materials and wrench what you can. Oh god, I'm so scared right now. All right, okay, so you know the drill. We're going to clear it, then we're going to loot it. Nice. I just gave him great head. It's all splooge and everywhere. <laughs> I believe the quest is finished. I've killed every zombie in this place. It honestly was not that bad. Ooh, some payments. I mean, I expected worse. Uh, see, I don't know if this is good. All right, I'm going to wear it. Whatever. I got to take my mod off this one. Is this better? Uh, oops, I accidentally scrapped it. God damn it, Daphne. Uh, okay, hold on. Let me put my mod. I'm going to take my mod. Ooh, can I unscrap it? Hold on. Perfect. Okay, let me scrap this. This I want to wear, I guess. Um, no, maybe I'll scrap it. It's a bit of a low level. So hold on here a second. I'm going to take my mod off of this, and I'm going to put that on the current chest I am wearing. Scrap it. Now, the reason why I'm wearing this heavier stuff is because... My brain is rationalizing that the zombies are going to get up in my grill when it comes to uh, fighting them in POIs and stuff just because I only have that spear. I do know it hurts my stamina, so I am going to have to start plugging points into sexy T-Rex to make using my spear just a little bit easier while I'm inside four walls. For now, I'm going to finish looting and then we are going to GTFO. GT. Is that how you say it? GTFO? I don't know. Correct me if I'm wrong. Uh, of course, I go ahead and eat one of my boiled eggs, and now I have food poisoning, and all I have to eat is a potato. Oh, and uh, some canned. Okay, I guess I'm going to munch on this canned food all the way home. All right, so I just hump and dump to my outside box here. I'm going to keep running. It's only 15, 55 o'clock. I still have quite a bit of the day left. I most likely will be wandering home at night, but I'm going to run over to that farm. Food is becoming an ongoing problem, especially since I just puked my guts up. So I am going to see if I can pick some corn. But before I do the corn, let's definitely clear the POI. All right, so we are up on the farm. We have the barn, we have the house, and then we have quite a lot of corn. So I think I'm gonna take on the barn first. It might be a little bit easier. Then the house. I feel like I need to watch out for the corn for like children of the corn, a little corn zombies to kind of get me or something. But yeah, I'm gonna start clearing. There's still some time left before the night hits. I will pick a lot of the corn at night as opposed to during the day because I want to take advantage of the slow moving zombies. So yeah, we're gonna head in. Like, see, I see some in there already. I see that? There's a person in the corn. Okay, let's go. This is not creepy at all. Hanging out in a freaking corn maze with zombies.
All right, so my bomb came in handy, took that guy's leg off. That all being said, I really need to work on my timing in order to get the zombies in an open space. So that'll be one of my many, many, many goals in this playthrough. For now, I'm gonna finish clearing this place and see what juicy, juicy end loot we have. Ah, you little. God damn it, my spear is stuck in that guy's belly. It fell all the way the hell down here. I think that might be the last zombie in the burn though, so let's uh, let's head on up to the top and double check and see what our loot is. Ooh, okay. I wonder if I can put that mod on my spear, that serrated laid mod. I honestly do not want the crossbow. I do not want these. Uh, I might as well keep those to make parts. I do not want this sledgehammer, but I will sell it. I'm hearing a lot of uh, meanie bobinis, so I'm going to remind myself to throw down the bid roll just in case of emergencies. And let me see if I can modify. Oh, yeah. What do I have now? Power attack damage 48. Power attack damage 49. Okay. Well, it's not that much, but it's better than nothing. I am hearing a lot of meanie bobinis, and I do want to dig up all the cobblestone and concrete. Oh, I see him down there. I'll see if he makes his way up here. Otherwise, I'm going to take some time, dig this stuff up, and kill the rest of the zombies hanging around. Oh god, I hear dogs. I hear howling dogs. I'm super scared. I'm not equipped to deal with puppies right now. Oh god. Okay, I just scared myself. Daphne, just gather your bearings. You are fine. I don't know where that dog could be, but I need to have dynamite ready to go. Alright, let me just look around. Alright, you know, maybe I'm crazy. I don't see a dog. I thought I heard a howl, but again, I could just be a little nuts, a little shaken, a little nervous by all the zombies making all their noise. Let me just look out here. Oh, I see you. Oh man, can I get that? Oh, beautiful! I almost feel bad. I should really make a shiv with my bones that I have. Hold on, do I have any bones? How do I not have made a shiv already? Did I? Oh gosh, that's so graphic. I am slightly satisfied with how I killed that dog without it even knowing, though. I'm, I am going to go out on a limb and say that. Let me just uh, chop her up. There, I should have enough bones to make a shiv now. Let me see. Recipes, bone knife, craft. All right, I still have a bit of digging up to do in here. So I'm going to hopefully get that done before it nightfall. <laughs> I believe I've dug everything up. It's almost nighttime. Oh, I gotta get that and that. Don't let me forget. It's almost nighttime. I want to end the video with a bang. Uh, I know I said I wouldn't waste my pipe bombs, but guys, honestly, it's just too much fun. It is honestly too much fun not to do it. I am realizing I'm definitely gonna need a chemistry station because I go through so much gunpowder. But let's try to kill this. Team. Oh god. Oh, oh god, bad idea, bad idea. Here, here, here. No, 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 don't make me bleed. Oh god. Oh. Oh. I honestly thought one shot would kill this pig, considering all it took was one bomb to kill the dog. But uh, maybe pigs are a little tougher than we thought. I'm going to ship them up. I am going to end the video here. All I will do for tonight, I'm going to dig up the rest of those little things I forgot, smush up this uh, rotting flesh all over the place, and then pick some corn and head home. 
that is my goal. I will see you guys tomorrow for day six and ideally a little bit more faith in getting my hoard base ready. Um, again, please leave suggestions in the comments on ideas that you think would make a good hoard base that maybe I could incorporate into what I am doing. Until then, don't forget to like the video and also subscribe to the channel and I will see you all for day six chaos. Have a good night, guys.